Good day, students. I'm Mr. Mashaila Kim for the second lesson of our word processing where we are editing a document. So, refer to the first lesson so that you can understand where we are going. Today's lesson, we are going to be editing a document by doing spelling mistakes, line spacing, which can be single line, double line spacing, multiple line spacing. We're going to also be doing editing according to letter spacing. But then lastly, we're going to be doing alignment, which can be left aligned, center aligned, right aligned, and justify. Let's quickly go to the first one, which is spelling mistakes. In most cases, when we are typing a document, if you are typing a document uh, referring to a question paper or so, you must type the document as it appears. Meaning, if you are typing that document and it has, it has got a spelling mistake, that means you must also type it with that spelling mistake. For instance, I've got a word here in my first paragraph, which is commonly. This word is highlighted with red. I've said it on the first lesson that if it is highlighted with a red, it means that there is a spelling mistake according to the English grammar. But if it was like that from the question paper you were typing from, that means you were supposed to leave it as it was. But going forward, if now they ask you to correct the, the spelling, meaning that you now you have to do a spelling correction. If you know the word, you can easily type what is missing or what is wrong there. You can remove what is wrong and type what is missing. In this case, according to my English, commonly has got two M's. C-O-M-M-O-N-L-Y. If I put the second M, then it removes automatically the red highlighted spot. That means, according to the English grammar, now the spelling is correct. But if you're not sure of the spelling, like I have said on the first lesson, you simply have to highlight on that word. Then it will give you an alternative word that you are looking for, meaning commonly. Then you click on that word, then it corrects it for itself. Let's quickly go to the second one. Second one, it is line spacing. I, let me take you back to high school when you were writing, for instance, a composition or a letter using the, uh, an exercise book with lines. Normally, you know that if you are typing, a if you are writing a letter, after a paragraph, you need to skip one line. That means according to the word processing, that, that one line that you've skipped, it means that it is a single line that you've already skipped to move to the next paragraph. But also, within the paragraph itself, you they, they can ask you to, to make a single line spacing, meaning that while you are typing the paragraph, you mustn't skip any line. You must, to the next sentence, it must always be one line. You must always be able to type the document in a single line spacing, meaning you don't skip a line up until the end of the paragraph to move to the next paragraph. But if it's, if it's a double line spacing, it's like you were typing you were typing the document you use skipping one line after each sentence to the next line skip one line and, and type to the next line but in this case let's quickly practice how to change the line spacing of a paragraph to a single line spacing in order to do that you need you need first to highlight the paragraph if they ask you to change the paragraph into a single line spacing you highlight with the method you are familiar with. I've told you how to highlight on the first lesson. Once you've highlighted, you simply right-click on the paragraph that you've just highlighted on top of the highlighted spot. After right-clicking, you go to Paragraph. Then it will appear this box. On this box, look at my cursor mouse where I'm pointing there is a line spacing. Then in this arrow, you can easily go into that arrow to, to check if you, it is the correct one. You want it a single line spacing. That means you click on single line spacing, then you press OK. It's within a single line spacing. Secondly, they can ask you to change a paragraph into a double line spacing. Let me use the second paragraph as an example. You first highlight the paragraph, 
you simply right click on top of the highlighted spots then go to paragraphs where there is line spacing you go to that arrow and change it to double then press ok that means now it's a double line spacing it's like every after sentence there is a line space and other another one it is a line space until the end of that paragraph then sometimes they can ask you to change a paragraph to a multiple lines that means the computer will detect itself how it's gonna change the line spacing multiple it means some of the lines are single line spacing some of them they are double line spacing and so on that in that case you highlight and quickly go to paragraphs then quickly change from underline spacing to multiple the computer will detect itself how it's going to handle that sometimes they will ask you to change it to 1.5 line spacing it means you quickly go there right click after highlighting you go to paragraphs line spacing then you change to 1.5 lines then it will adjust accordingly i'm sure by now you know how to change the line spacing then also since i've since i've told you that each and every after one paragraph you need to skip a line instead in order to see how many lines you skipped after a paragraph there is this sign you go to the home topic on the home topic there is this sign next to the az this sign which is like a note of a song if you click on it and look at your document if you click on it and look at your document it will show you for instance after the topic if it is one two three of them it means that the lines that you that you skipped before the new paragraph they were three lines but if it was two, it means you skipped two lines before the next paragraph. Like if you can check here. After this paragraph, there is only one of it. It means that you skipped one line to the next paragraph and so on. That's how we check. And if you don't want it, you simply press it at, at that sign again. It will remove from your document. Let's quickly go to the next one, which is uh, wet letter spacing. Or a, a word spacing in that case they mean that after typing a word you need to skip a line or so in most cases they will tell you how many how many spaces not a line excuse my english after a word you skip a space before you type the next word for instance in a sentence if you want to type like, like for example sevens and golf it means that you type sevens you skip you skip a space and you skipped a space golf you skipped a space in order to accomplish such the, the space button on your keyboard is the long button which doesn't have any word on it but if you want to check the spaces on your computer or on your paragraph between words you can also click on that icon that i showed you on the lines then it will appear some dots in between the words one dot means it was only one space in between but you must always know that when typing a, a sentence if you want to put a full stop the full stop must be immediately after the last word even a comma then after a full stop or a comma you skip a space to to type the first word of the next sentence i'm sure it will understand each other so if you wanted to do a, a, to skip a line after a paragraph if you are typing you simply press in the enter key on your keyboard to skip that one line to the next if you want to move to the second line that means you're supposed to type to press the enter twice let me quickly remove that icon so that it cannot distract us and uh, let us check the next the last item on our on our key it is alignment alignment it means that the text must be aligned according to either left center or right sometimes to justify let me quickly show you uh, maybe the first paragraph this was our first paragraph which is started from the 2016 summer olympics 
up until August 2016. If they can ask you to align the paragraph toward the left side, that means you first need to highlight the paragraph. Once you've highlighted it, under the home topic, there is this topic which written paragraphs. There are some different icons here. The first one, if you can look at my case amounts, I've already pointed at it and it's written align left. If they ask you to align the text left, you click on it. In most cases, it all, we, they commit automatically always. It, the computer automatically always align the text left if you are typing. But if now they ask you to align center, that means your text must be center aligned. If you check next to the left one, the second one next to it, it's center. That means you click on it, then the text will be aligned at the center of the page. Meaning even the first word of the, or the first sentence was supposed to start at the margin, but now it didn't start, instead it went so that it can it didn't accommodate the center align as well as at the end. It didn't touch the, the margin, but instead it went toward the center. If they ask you to align right, that means you start from the left, center, the third one is right alignment. If you click on it, it means your text will be aligned toward the right side of, your, of the page. Lastly, it is justify. Justify means that the text will align toward the right side as well as the left side. It will spread toward both sides of the page. If you click on the third one, it's written already justify. If you click on it, then that is the justify function. That's how it works. So for today, uh, before I close, I must remind you that all the alignments, they can happen as per word, as per topic, as per paragraph, as well as per the whole document or per page. It, you have to listen to the instruction whether they want you to align only that paragraph or maybe the whole page or sometimes the whole document or only the topic. That's when you will know where to align according to. Then don't forget to save your work once you are done. I've said if you want to save, you go to File, then you go to Save As, then if you've got already, you go to Documents after that, if you've already created your folder, for instance, on the lesson when I created Mashalela, then I quickly go to Mashalela, then I change my my file name, in this case it was Lesson 2, I type Lesson 2 on the file name, so that it cannot be saved on, on the first one. It will be separate. Then I press save. Then I'm done. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you on the next video that will appear soon.